हरि ओम शम नो मित्र शम वरुण शम नो भवत्म शम न इंद्रो बृहस्पति शम नो विष्णुरुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वमे प्रचक्ष ब्रह्मासी वा प्रचक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्यामि ऋतम वदिष्यामि सत्यम वदिष्यामि तन्मावतु तद्वक्तावत अवत मं अवत वक्ता ओ शांति 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 so five pointed star meditation 2 and 3 let us complete it in the one lecture now we are going into the second meditation of the zodiac again stand in the same posture of extended arms and the feet on either side close your eyes and meditate yourself in the five pointed star but this time it is not the five elements that you have to meditate upon but it is upon the two legs two hands two excretory organs and the organ of speech so the organ of speech is one excretory organs are two you have two hands put together one two legs put together once one organ this is the next set of meditations in the first set we made it the meditated the five elements at the five different uh, uh, angles of this uh, uh, Five pointed star. Now, master is giving another uh, explanation. This time, not five by five elements, but uh, what he is telling uh, upon the two legs. Two legs as one part. First, imagine your two legs as one part. Two hands, two extended hands as one. Two excretory organs. And the organ of speech. This is the five points. So, the organ of speech is one. Excretory organs are two. So, total three. Your two hands put together one. Total four. Two legs put together once one organ. Total five. They are called the organ of speech, the organ of urine, the organ of stool, the organ of working, and the organ of locomotion. These are called the five organs of action. So meditate upon the action of the five organs. This is what we have to do the next seven to two days. Then the second stack sacrament is finished. You have to meditate it for seven to two days. What is there to meditate? When whenever masses was speaking about two legs put together, and then you are, if we are able to stand on this earth, then the two legs are bearing the entire weight of the the body. They are like the pillars. Like that, you have to imagine about it. to communicate with the people this is organ of speech because of the speech only we are communicate communicating with the the people and the two hands because of the two hands we are extending our helping hands or we are earning with the hands we are helping with the hands and the hands are and what are the duties the hands are doing and both physically and spiritually or anything you have to think about it the most important thing is the uh, excretory organs one is the urine and one is the one is the urine and one is the stool and if they are not working properly the man will die very shortly whatever is not uh, useful to the body they have to be they have to be, they have to throw it out they have to they have to throw it out outside otherwise you know you, when people are going to die you know what happens there are nine uh, centers are there in the body never andra in in call in sanskrit uh, few of these uh, nine uh, centers they will be closed one by one one by one they will be they will be closed one by one and finally the death occurs somebody without closing of these nine centers nine holes tantras somebody dies peacefully and calmly it is a yogic death that's why all the yogis that's why all the yogis before they go before they are going to die they will it and they they program the death 
when to die and how to die and they program the death and they leave the body either from the head center or from the bro center just they leave the body and they, they just go away but in the life of a ordinary human being and generally what happens and all the the, the what i explained about this five centers and five holes some of them, some of them will be closed when the hole is closed near to the breath near to the lungs and they, they cannot breathe and one one center is closed like the anus or the rectum and they cannot pass any urine or they cannot pass any stool and it will be accumulated in the intestines and it causes the death like that whenever wherever there is a, a contraction of the particular part and closing of the particular part means the closing of it and that is the indication for the death okay that's why these meditations they will help you it is like a scanning they will help you to activate those particular parts if anybody doing these meditations regularly what happens energies energy flows through those centers actively and any blocks are there they will be released and body and the system of the body and it acts very actively uh with a free flow of energy or a blood or the free flow of air inside and whatever it may be free dig in a, uh, actual very good digestion and very good breathing very good heart beat and uh, very good uh, system of working of uh, the nervous system works very properly the communication system in the body inside the body works properly these things helps like that don't think all the meditations you have to close your eyes and uh, sit for one hour two hours like that in some meditations you have to understand the phenomenon of the body and different different patterns geometrical patterns in the body how the life in our body works all these things you have to understand that's why master explains explaining these meditations okay let us go to the five point star meditation 3 now about the third sacrament of the five point star sight hearing taste smell and touch this is the sight hearing taste smell and touch these are what we are called faculties of senses we, we call it jnanendriya in sanskrit karmendriya karmendriya means the organs which are acting in the physical body they call karmendriyas sense organs now he is called faculties of senses this these five are called faculties of senses the first one is sight and second one is hearing third one is taste and smell and touch these are what we are called faculties of senses the previous five are called organs of action the previous the first five in the, in the second meditation they are called organs of action these are the faculties of our faculties of senses they are called senses they have their own organs sight as the eyes as organ hearing hearing has ears taste has tongue smell has noise and touch has the skin the second set is called the sense sense organs the first set is called senses or functions so meditate upon the sense organs and their functions this is called the third sacrament for the next 7 to 2 days so what is there to meditate here this is what we have to understand suppose the taking the first thing as a sight just looking okay when you are looking at the things there are many ways uh, of looking at the things uh, with different different motives behind or whatever it may be some people they will be very happy they when they look at the sun sunrise or the sunset some people they they, are, they feel very happy when they look at the greenery in the meadows some people they feel very happy look at the skies blue sky some people they feel very happy to when they look at the the beautiful colors of the flowers or some people they feel very happy when they look at a beautiful painting or a sculpture right but some people they feel happy it was it was sensual happiness when they see the unwanted uh, things dirty things they feel very happy about it all these comes under uh, the sight the yogi the student who is practicing yoga he wanted to become a real spiritualist 
he has to cultivate a habit to feel happy when he looks at a beautiful blue sky or the sunrise or sunset or a full moon or a river or a lake or a mountain right or beautiful flowers on the earth when when he go to the meadows and the green fields and they have, we have to feel very happy about it that side of sight we have to develop you understand sight outside what about the sight inside meditate meditating some colors meditate meditating some patterns meditating some ge- ge- uh, geometrical forms this is the sight inside so we have to develop this faculty like this the next thing is hearing a lot there is a lot of hearing systems no? i am not, not speaking about the uh, instruments hearing a flute music hearing a beautiful violin music hearing a very beautiful veena it is an instrument indian instrument music so somebody they simply when they are he- when they are hearing a beautiful bhajan or beautiful singing and then slowly it it it, it will become a meditation for them is are doing meditation what some people will do you know they they put the recorder or whatever it may be for 30 minutes or 25 minutes before going to bed they put it with a very light sound and very very soothing uh, in a manner and slowly they go into the sleep that sleep is so perfect because the mind all the time thinking about lot of things slowly merge into the the music so this is how we have to make ourselves use the instruments given by the nature or given by the god and to use it for a higher purpose that is the purpose of this meditation like the taste so what type of foods we like some people they like fruits some people they don't like fruits they like spicy foods rich and spicy foods some people they like the non vegetarian food and some people like the vegetarian food so here we are not discussing about what food, which food is good and which food which, which food is not good we have to think one thing every every human being have how he is own or her own constitution human digestive system is different from the animal digestive system digestive system of the bird is different from the digestive system of a fish understand so in the creation human being will have his or her own digestive system it can digest certain things only it is programmed like that in the bird it is programmed in a different way in the animal it is programmed in a different way even though some foods are uh, very rich and uh, very healthy or whatever it may be but they are not suitable not healthy very rich and very tasty they are not suitable to the uh, the pattern of the digestive system of the human being this you have to understand though it is very tasty though it is very expensive but it will not be useful to the human digestive system that the, those are the things we have to avoid so we have to pick up the foods those foods gives a proper health to the human constitution of human body that's how we have to program the the taste the smell and touch we have to understand these five things like that right? and uh, understand this as a five pointed star and uh, we are standing uh, between the five pointed star with the sense organs and uh, organs of speech and all these things and then we have to utilize the instruments and uh, given to us by the nature for a better purpose this is the meaning of this meditation so the first set is called the sense of senses or functions to so meditate upon the senses organs and uh, their functions this this is called the third sacrament of the next 72 days this is the second uh, this is the third meditation and in the, in, in my next lecture 
I'll explain you the fourth and uh, uh, fifth uh, uh, five point star meditations. Till then, you try once. You need not wait for seven to two days. And uh, when the weekend, um, uh, take a weekend uh, to this purpose to practice these meditations. Since I generally uh, suggest that uh, somebody is very free. doing their own business or doing their own work in the in the house and and uh, not going to the office regularly or whatever it may be when you are free totally free free means not 50% free and uh, take the already notes is there in your computer or in your mobile take the first step if you want uh, listen to this explanation or if you understand it and just close your eyes and uh, take small notes 1 2 3 4 5 steps uh, take four or five lines of notes and then practice the first meditation and stay 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 there for just 5 minutes not not more than 5 minutes is enough and go to the next second meditation stay there for 5 minutes until uh, you feel some comfort in it and then go to the third uh, step of uh, the meditation and try to understand this process and try to understand the process the purpose of that meditation and try to uh, feel that energy like that make a beginning don't you need not do every, every day all these five sets of meditations but the time will come one day you can do you can practice all these five sets of meditations just within 10 minutes because when once you understand the procedure the pattern and the spirit behind this meditations and finally the purpose of doing these meditations if you understand these things you can do 1 2 3 4 5 like that in an order just within 10 to 15 minutes that's it or we can you or you can do once in a week on the weekend day or when you are totally free not only the weekend day when you are totally free and uh, take off uh, take uh, some break uh, from the routine work and make your mind uh, uh, very calm and peaceful and tell your mind that we are going to do the five pointed star meditations first uh, program your mind uh, with this uh, program and then start and uh, switch off all your uh, things and mobiles and, uh, and take some time from 15 or 10 minutes to 15 minutes and practice 1 2 3 4 5 it is enough it this this energy flows for one week it is sure okay we will meet uh, in the next uh, lecture the five points are sar meditation fourth and fifth swasti prajap jo paripala yantam nyaye na marge na mahi mahisha go brahmane bhi somastu nicham loka samasta shakino bhavantu om shanti shanti shanti